Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am Minnie and I love to cook. So every week I share some easy weeknight meals for you that hopefully you and your family will enjoy. Today we've been taking down Christmas decorations. You can see how bare it looks behind me. So it's been a busy day taking the decorations down and then trying to clean up. I don't feel like fussing much for dinner. So I'm gonna show you a really easy crock pot recipe that I'm gonna throw together here in a few minutes along with a meal that you can make either in the air fryer or in the oven, and finally an easy dessert that you can make in the microwave in under two minutes. So let's get started. Tonight for dinner, we're gonna make some chicken divan. Is it divan or divan? I think it's divan in the crock pot. Here's everything we're gonna need. I'm gonna have the recipe. It calls for two pounds of chicken. I'm just gonna use one pound, so I already cut that up. Some broccoli, which I have thawing, a little bit of chicken broth, one can of cream of chicken soup, a touch of mayonnaise. And then I meant to get some curry powder from the grocery store, but I forgot it. So I'm just gonna throw together my own spice blend, a little bit of cumin, a little ground mustard, some ginger, and some cayenne pepper. So I'm gonna begin by getting my chicken in the crock pot and then I'm gonna open the broccoli. I just wanna make sure all the pieces are pretty uniform, so I am going to cut that up, get that in the crock pot as well, and then we will add the rest of our ingredients into the crock pot. So the chicken and broccoli are done, but I decided to jazz this up just a little bit more. So I'm gonna add a little bit of cheddar cheese to it along with some of our favorite croutons. I just put some in a bag and pounded those with my fist to break them up a little bit. But let's add some cheese. Not too much. And then we'll add some of those croutons. And those will just give it a really nice crunch. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cook this for another 20 minutes or so until the cheese is melted. So here's what our finished product looks like. Looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve this up on a plate and show you what it looks like. This turned out really good. It was creamy and comforting, but I will say adding the cheese to it made a big difference and also adding the croutons because they gave it a little bit of a textural difference and some crunch. So I'd highly recommend adding some breadcrumbs or some croutons or something like that. But this was a winner. We really liked it. Tonight I'm gonna make some coconut shrimp for dinner. We had a pretty big lunch, so we're not super hungry. So I don't think we're gonna have any sides. We'll probably just have the shrimp. But I have about a pound of shrimp. I thawed this and dried it with paper towel. Three eggs, some paprika, garlic powder, pepper, and salt. Some unsweetened coconut flakes and coconut flour. So these are low carb because I'm using coconut flour, but you don't have to. So the first thing, I'm gonna do these in the air fryer and in the oven to see how they turn out. Um, so I lined a uh, baking sheet with some foil, put a wire rack on it, and 
Last time I made onion rings, they stuck to the rack. So this is my poor attempt at putting some parchment paper over here, poking some holes in it so I can still get some ventilation. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and prepare the shrimp. So I need to beat my eggs and prepare my dry ingredients as well in a bowl. And then I'm going to coat the shrimp in both of those, get some of them on my baking pan, and I'm gonna put some in the air fryer and I will show you both. So after I finished filling up the cookie sheet for those going in the oven, I also put some in my air fryer basket as well. And here is what they looked like before they went into the oven. I baked these at 400 degrees for four minutes. Then I pulled them out and I flipped all of them before putting them back into the oven. So after these baked for another five minutes or so, I did turn the broiler on for two to three minutes just to get them a little bit more golden. I then moved on to the air fryer batch. I wasn't sure how long these would take to cook in the air fryer, but I started with them at 370 for five minutes. Here were our air fryer shrimp. You can see that they turned out nice and golden. I baked these at 370 for about five minutes. They were starting it a little too brown. So then I turned the temperature down to about 330 and baked them for another four minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate these up and show you what it looks like. Here's what they look like on the platter. I'm just serving them up with a couple of lemon wedges. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle a little parsley over the top. And that's it. We tried some that were left over. Some of these guys over here. These turned out so good. We ate them with just a little bit of cocktail sauce and we put the lemon on it. These were amazing. So simple and healthy and delicious. If you give them a try, please let me know if you enjoyed them. For dessert, I'm going to make a very simple strawberry shortcake mug cake. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> Here's everything I'm gonna need. I already diced up four strawberries, some baking powder, just a pinch of salt, some flour, whipped cream, sugar, milk, and then I have one tablespoon of butter inside of my mug. I am gonna start by melting that butter in the microwave. Once that butter was mostly melted, I just swirled the mug to get that on the bottom and on the sides. And then I actually ended up adding a little bit of cooking spray because it wasn't sticking as much as I had hoped it would. Then I added all of the other ingredients minus the whipped cream and strawberries into my mug. And I stirred this really well and put it in the microwave for a minute and 15 seconds. So this is what it looked like when it was done. Then I just used a knife to try to get it out of the mug. You can see that it actually broke in half, but it was perfect because that was how I was going to serve it anyway. So this is what it looked like. I had to wait for it to cool down. And then once it did, I added a little bit of whipped cream to the bottom, topped that with some of my strawberries. Sorry, I had a hard time filming here and putting the strawberries on at the same time, but you get the picture. So after that was done, I put the top layer on it 
and repeated that with the whipped cream and the strawberries. It got pretty tall and you can see it wanted to fall over, but I stopped it from falling. I was surprised how good this turned out. I've made mug cakes in the microwave before and none of them were nearly as good as this. It was delicious. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I'll be back soon with some more easy weeknight meals for you. Bye.